So it looks like we got the Android 13 beta on the Pixel 6a now. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. Obviously, as you guys see right here, we do have the Pixel 6a. And I'm going to be leaving a link in the description down below if you guys would like to go ahead and update your Pixel 6a because we just went ahead and did that on this one right here. And of course, we have that Easter egg, Android 13. You just tap and hold to go throughout this little Easter egg thing. Thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but we do have Android 13 on the Pixel 6a now. There are some bug fixes. There are some things that I've noticed on this so far. Do you know that this isn't the complete version of Android 13 that will be out when the new Pixel 7 comes out. So definitely keep in mind that there may be some things like glitches or bugs that are on this software, but uh, it's so close to release that it's honestly been pretty smooth so far. So I don't think there's that much of a risk because you can opt out right after, but you will have to factory reset your device. But we're gonna to leave the link in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and opt in on Google's website. All you're going to have to do is scroll down and it's going to show you the devices that are on your Google account. Um, and this Google device, uh, the Pixel 6a, is now opted in. So if you guys want to go ahead and opt in with me, all you have to do is sign up your email. Uh, you're going to wait about three to five minutes and then you're going to go to your system updates if the notification doesn't pop up. And all you have to do is click update. Uh, this is going to be a 2.1 gigabyte update, so do keep in mind that that's going to take away from your storage on this device. But we do have 128 gigabytes of internal, and this device did just come out, so I'm pretty sure most of you don't have too much stuff on your phone. But uh, yeah, guys, there were some bug fixes and some other cool stuff, so I would definitely check this out. If you guys are a techie, for the more inexperienced people, I don't really know. Download it at your own risk or opt in at your own risk. You can always opt out. But if you guys have any changes that not really any Anybody has noticed please leave them in the comment section down below that would be very helpful to the community as well as me so appreciate you guys we're gonna be doing an update video very very soon so stay tuned this has been Safan from TechRate peace out teching